So welcome back folks to The Long Dark, A Noob's Journey. We are on episode 28. And in the last episode we were exploring this ice cave. And we had went outside and found a new area that I don't think I've been to. <coughs> but it was a little bit too cold. So we went back in, we warmed up, uh, read an hour in the book, and now we're going to go back outside and see if it's any warmer. Because we started getting cold pretty quick. Alright, so far so good. Uh, we do have one arrow down, which isn't too bad. Is taking a quick look around and let's follow our theme of going to the right. <clears throat> Sorry for clearing my throat, but as I said in a previous video, I got food poisoning the other day. It has not been a fun thing. I believe I'm going to sprain a wrist or an oh. ankle. Yep. I know it. Alright, so let's go ahead and take care of that. We'll use that there. And then we will take some medication. So these are at 73. That's at 80. So we'll go ahead and take those. Heal the pain up. And we'll come up here and see if it was worth it to come up here. Oh, look at there, we got some wood. Mm. And okay. made a soup I'm not gonna mess with, but I got this out of the corner of my eye. Uh no. I'm not gonna take it. Uh, in my experience, if they're below fifty percent, they really don't work. So, nothing much up here. We'll go ahead and map this area. And we will move on. So far, I have enjoyed playing this map. I can get up there. Okay, I thought there might be something up here. Uh, this map's been actually pretty fun. There's a lot to explore here. If I can get down without spraining something. It's just a little bit level over here, yep. So I actually have no idea on the map where we are. <clears throat> but it appears there might be a cave over here. Or no. It goes further on down.
Okay, we'll explore this way for a little bit. Because we have not explored the other way. here. Make sure nothing's going to come up on me. And map this. So this looks like it will lead back to our uh, back to our original cave. been up here yet. Because I haven't broken down this stuff yet. <clears throat> I'm not sure I can carry much more. Looking to see if I see any ropes or anything. I was looking and kind of uh, had a corner of my eye, and I thought that little line going down the tree was actually a rope. I'm going to drop some of these sticks. Drop all of them and then pick up a couple. So that'll give me two sticks in case I need a fire. Got another area down there. I hate crossing these trees. One little slip of the joystick and the game is over. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and map. So yeah, it looks like this is leading us back to our original cave. First it was more of a direct route, but now I think we're going away from it. Oh, we got another cave. Now I'm finding caves everywhere. Go back here and look and see if there's anything. I did see a book and I want the book. <coughs> guns, guns, guns. 25 hours. A lot of research. Okay, those are in good shape. See if the painkillers are in good shape. Oh yes. I'm just going to need those. Um I'm gonna go ahead and leave the wood. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna eat some of this food up. <coughs> Drop some of my weight a little bit. But I want to leave the wood in case we need to uh, sleep a little bit. 73, 81, 64, 67, so see that. And then take one more. Our water. Our water's pretty good. And I know I opened a can. So that gives me a recycled can. 
I'm gonna drop that over there. Still really need to get back and get my cleaning kits. I thought I brought cleaning kits with me. I may have left them in our big cave. I know where I'm at now. Yes, I do. Uh, I told you I watched a playthrough of somebody that came over this way, going to the mysterious signal fire. <clears throat> and this is where they came to. So this is the location of the other signal fire. So this is where I was going to try to get to at first and realize that the signal fire was on the other side of the valley. So I think it's supposed to be right around in here somewhere. So our map is looking pretty good. Still have a lot over here that I haven't looked at. Uh, halfway through the day. So I'm going to get up here without spraining something. Alright, so I think they said this is the location of the other signal fire. Up in here somewhere. or the other possible spawning location for the signal fire. Oh, be careful. It's not, it's not worth it. Sticks here, so let's pick up. We don't need all of them. We'll take that many. Don't think you can get down there. So as I was saying, I thought I saw something blue. Maybe not. Um, this map has been really fun. I've never been on this map. And there's a lot of maps that I haven't been on, and I hope they're all as fun as this one. We will make our way. I think we have seen everything that is up here that I can get to. So I think we'll make it back to our cave and then go the other way. such a fun game um, and I can see the potential for adding a lot more maps where it take you a long time to play through that did go and I printed off a map of the entire area basically it's the world map of 
this game. And I see a lot of dead spaces in that map where they can add more. I don't know if I can get up there. That's where I was originally heading before it got too cold. It looks like you might be able to. Yeah, it looks like it's uh, not so steep you can't walk up it. So let's go up there and take a look. <clears throat> a little on the steep side. I'm a little overburdened. Nice and slow. Like there might be a crack in the rock there. Yeah, maybe not. Well, maybe. Nope, can't get through there. If you could lay down and shimmy through, you could. Ooh, got another log. I guess you can go higher still. Alright, let's give it a try. And easy. Keep her going straight. I saw saplings on the right corner of my eye. There's two saplings over there. And a dead deer carcass. How does a deer even get up here? Okay, two questions. How does a deer get up here? And what? Oh, we got another camp. So that explains what could have killed the deer. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Another improvised hatchet and some accelerant. Always a welcome thing to find accelerant. So where did this person go to? going down there. Oh, that's our cave. Right there. Now that's the cave we had, that, uh, not our cave, but the cave we came out on. So what this did was just make a, we walked up here, across the log, and came over here. See no crows, here no crows. meat does it have? 2.9 pounds. Give me 20 minutes, I might as well. Hear no wolves. See no bears. 
Oh, get a map. Rose hips. And green maple saplings. Yet, how did the deer get up here? Unless he was dragged up here. But there was an improvised hatchet. Okay, so with that, I'd scratch my ear. Improvised hatchet, which means that person could have cut up the deer and just brought the meat up here. <sighs> okay, so it looks like we can still go further out. She is getting pretty tired, so I think what I'll do is go back in the ice cave in the mouth of it, set up a little camp, cook up this meat, and take a little rest. And then explore down the other way in the morning. Providing the weather holds out. And there's no guarantee on the weather. Because you get the little burp, blurps that uh, pop up. It says that Great Bear Island, the weather can change very fast. So I should have between sticks and I think I did pick up some wood. I should have enough to cook this meat up, make a little bit of extra water. And sleep for the night. Yeah, because I got some is that coal? Oh, I thought that was coal. Uh, so let's find a good place where we can put our Sleeping bag. Oh, right there. And I'll start a fire here. Let me check my woods. Uh, let me check my wood situation. Oh, I don't have any wood. I do have coal, and I have ten sticks. I think that should be enough. We'll give it a try. <coughs> oh, didn't hit the button. So right there. Can use a fire striker. Don't want to use the book yet. I want to save that for an emergency. And once we get our meat going, then I'll go back down in the cave a little bit, see if I can find some more coal. <sighs> so, let's add our coal. And some sticks, and we have two hours on the fire. pieces of meat. So I might as well cook them both up. And then I'll make up the water. So I have 17 minutes until that one's ready. Let 
we have some sticks down here. Stones. Oh yeah, there was some wood here. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Got the sticks too. Five minutes and pick that up and start some water. Thirty one minutes. Take that and gun away here and cook up another couple of batches of water how much I put one hour on the campfire I think I need to lay down. and 26 minutes so if I add more sticks and get two more cans of water. And made it just in time. So let's Eat some of the meat, 100%, and I'll go ahead and eat a big chunk of that one. Actually, that was the smaller of the two. Uh, good drinker soda. top it off with water. So I will drop a little bit of the water. And we will drop... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll drop that much. Because I believe we have to come back through here. Get 10 hours, and she has see how she feels in the morning. <clears throat> um, she can't sleep for another hour. It is getting on daylight, so we're going to go ahead and pick that up. We're going to drink. And then while we're waiting on daylight, <coughs> make sure I pick that up. Let's take a look at our stats. So, have survived 46 days. Yay. Carcass harvesting is three. Cooking is three. Rifle is three. Everything else is one and two. Okay, it's not too bad. That was burned out, I think. Yep. <clears throat> Take a look outside. That was gonna take a look outside. That was the exit, right? Yep. So 
So if you couldn't see anything there at the end, neither could I. What happened? Okay, I do not know what just happened. My screen is blank. I can't shoot, I can't do anything. I can hear. Shoot, I can't do a thing. None of my buttons are working. Alright, so the only option I have now is to turn off my Xbox. Yeah, I'm trying to get my weapon up and shoot, but I've got nothing. So it looks like we're going to end the video here. Uh, call it because of technical difficulty, and I don't want to... Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I got one button back. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit. And then pick up where we left off, which should be right after we... Right after we woke up. Yep. So, drink. Pick up the bedroll. Get out my pistol, and that was the exit this way. So we'll try this one more time. Okay, that's much better. The weather's not, but just thing see what's going on. Let's take a look. It's like 21. It's not too bad. I think we can walk in that. And I screwed up. Go back in. I need to get more charcoal. Maybe that's what the game was telling me. Don't forget your charcoal, dummy. Temporary MREs. As I said in a previous video, I was in the military and I have eaten a lot of MREs. But when I was in, let me take it, it gives me two more. Uh, when I was first went in the military back in the 80s, so I date myself a little bit, there's only five kinds of MREs. And now they have a lot of different types. 
and I've tried the newer ones. They're not too bad. If you've ever never had an MRE and you get the opportunity, uh, try one. But get with somebody that knows what they're doing and have used them. Because one of the things about MREs, they are designed to make you slightly constipated. Because it wouldn't be good to go out on the battlefield and have to crap every two hours. So we're walking into the wind. This makes our progress very slow. Very slow. And with my luck, the wind will change and blow against me on my way back. Still bugs me that bear snuck up on me twice. Made me a little bit gun shy of the bears up here. So the clouds are moving fast, which could mean a storm is either coming in or a storm is leaving. Hopefully, I slipped through it. Which means it'll be uh, clearing up here shortly. Actually, it is clearing up because it's getting warmer. Nope, now it's getting colder. It must have just been a wooden break. Okay, so let's go up here. Take the high ground before I cut through that uh, brush there. And see what's on the other side. Make sure there's nothing waiting on me. I am getting cold, but not too cold. And when I'm outside of the direct wind, it's actually warming up. So I'm also overburdened. So let's go over here and drop that. And I should have left that in the cave. Drop 11 of those. Still overburdened, but I don't want to drop too much in case I get make a mistake and get to an area that I can't get back up here. See what's up here. <clears throat> oh, and the wind is blowing against me again. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything. Let's head on down some more. I had thought when I found the signal fire, it's like a cave. I had thought when I found the signal fire, 
that I may have tapped out all the resources in here. But that does not seem to be the case. Alright. A little bit of running. Not too much. I don't know what's in here. Oh, and some firewood. If they put that in here, then it probably means that this direction is really harsh. A rabbit. Hello, Mr. Bunny. Crap, I thought that was a bear right there. With the snow flying. Okay, so we have not been in this area. Reishi mushroom, cedar limb, another reishi mushroom. Okay, so we are going back there. Thought I heard something. Oh, must be her shivering. So she is getting cold. But I want to look around some more. Okay, it appears we might have a rope to climb down. Don't see anything else up here. Maybe, I thought this was a spot that would hold a rope. But it doesn't appear that it does. It does have a nice view. So let's map this area. It says I can climb. But there's no rope. I guess you gotta bring your own rope. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I would get the rabbit, but I still have food. Be walking into the wind, got real slow. Can you give me a rope up here somewhere. Right there looks like a path that might lead up. And before I do that, I'm going to go up here and get warmed up.
There was wood and coal in this cave. Come up here. And what was the cave? Right there. Yep. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna start a fire, get warm. I uh, read an hour of my book. And then we'll go see if that other path leads anywhere. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Uh, I don't think it really matters. I'm just going to warm up. So I don't think I need to go all the way into the back of the cave. That up. And gonna do our fire striker and a stick. 85% chance. I can deal with that. And that I didn't need that much, but that give me a little extra time. I'm gonna go ahead and eat the sardines, and then. Oh, oh, I think we're reading this one. Nope, we haven't started that one yet. So, fire starting. We'll go ahead and read an hour. And then we'll go take a look outside. It sounds a little calmer out there. Uh, but if the temperature is really cold, then we'll come back in for another hour. Rabbit's still here. And it looks like the temperature's pretty good. Oh, he's got a buddy. Or a mate. So I think it looked like there was a path over here. can get up here. Well, that sucks. I'd like to know what's up there. So one way to do it is to map the area. No, I guess you can. It's got it all blocked off. So we need to get down into this area and map, and we still have to go that area, that area, and that area to map. Alright, so let's head back. actually can't get up there because that seems like a place where they would hide something. Like a bear skin sleeping bag. So 
So this area up here coming through the ice cave and added a little bit of good loot. And I also think it is the path. See what I tell you. When I walk this way, the wind is blowing in my face. Now that I'm going back, the wind is blowing in my face. But I believe that was also the path for the... For the um, other signal fire. Be interesting to do another playthrough. And see if I get the other signal fire and see if this is the right place for it. I don't want the sticks. the wood. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, I'm just going to pick them all up. There we go. The wood is what I want. But I had to pick up sticks even though it seemed like the firewood was on top. So we still have not explored all of that ice cave because I was making rights and now I need to make some lefts. said before I can get over how well they've done with this with the graphics in this game just awesome so I'm not expecting any new maps to come out because uh, it seems like it's a lot of work goes into a map water. Yep, pick that up. Alright, so we're going to head back into the bowels of this ice cave. See what else we can discover. That was the dead end. And I want to try to get back to the rope. Oh, there it is. How heavy are we? Oh, we're at 97 pounds. So I have to drop gear. So what can I do without? Uh, not getting it. Well, go and drop that. Got two of these. We'll drop those. Just 
stones. I need my stones. And I need the sticks. So how about let's drop a couple of flares. And that'll get me down the rope. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There we go. And then I'll come here. Drop that. Drop that. Drop some of my bigger items. Drop that. Drop it all. Drop that. Drop that. And now we'll go back up the road. Since it is such a short rope. Whoa. Yeah. I think she hit her head. And we'll go back down the rope again. Forgot to hit my joystick. Pick up all my heavy stuff. This pack is getting kind of heavy. All right, I think that was the entrance into this area. We'll go up here and make sure. It is a little dark. Yeah, that was the entrance. Okay. Dead dude. We've already checked him. Yep. And that was our fire. And that didn't go anywhere. Which is why I didn't drop stone. This way. So I think this way is a place we have not explored yet, and it is not. We have not been here. Okay, so there's nothing up here, and what I'm going to do is, we have reached the one hour mark, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and we will pick the rest of this up in the next episode, so hope you're enjoying it, uh, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't like it, and as always, if you have some feedback for me that I can make these videos even better, I would appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. So until then, have a good one.